What is up, my beautiful people of Phaser Frags? I am Tainted, and this is some Team Fortress 2 gameplay on the PC, of course. I'm not sure. I guess you could be playing it on Xbox, but uh, you would have to have purchased the orange box, and TF2 was terrible on the Xbox. I'm sorry. I did try it. Don't even... Just take my word for it. It was not that great. But, um... We're playing on the PC here, and I am playing the Soldier class, and the Soldier class is basically a, uh, not quite heavy, but, uh, in the middle, kind of a, I guess you could say a tank. If you have never played this game before, uh, a soldier uses a rocket launcher like this, and his secondary weapon is a shotgun, and he has a shovel as a melee. Uh, he's basically a soldier off the front lines. Uh, who, who just runs around with a rocket launcher and as you can see there I did a little bit of a rocket jump uh, where if you have quick enough reactions you can look down very quickly shoot towards the ground and crouch and jump all at the same time and you can propel yourself into the air uh, giving you sort of an advantage over other people there's a nice little kill feed right there giving you an advantage over the other people uh, and high, a height advantage rather uh, over the other people who can't really see you or can't see that you've made a rocket jump um, so it basically gives you a height advantage, or if you're just, you know, running towards the point, you can get there quicker. Um, so yeah, Soldier is an all-around good class. Uh, you are one of the most targeted people by, uh, by medics, other than heavies, I would say, unless there's a, an engineer setup, in which case Demo Man will get targeted. And here you can see I'm going towards my items, because I want to switch to the old-school, uh, Quake-looking original rocket launcher that uh, they added in the game just not too long ago. I mean, it's been in the game for quite a while now, but uh, it's a new addition. It wasn't originally in the game, and it looks quite a bit like a, a Quake a quake rocket launcher, so it's really, really, really neat. There isn't really a reload animation, which, I don't know, I kind of like. And hold on, wait for it. Triple! Okay, that was dirty. I mean, it was a lucky crit rocket, but... Uh, that was pretty snazzy. I saw that and I was like, oh my goodness. That was gorgeous. But uh, yeah, there was a nice little triple. The the medic who was healing me got three assists for that. So if you're a medic and you're healing other people, you get an assist for every kill the person that uh, the person that kills them gets, or the person that you're healing gets. And I get stabbed by a spy, so that kind of bums me out. That ruined my kill streak there. Uh, a spy is almost always a one-hit kill to the back. If you're playing a spy and you run around and stab people in the back, it's a one-hit kill, unless it's a sniper that's using a shield. Uh, there's snipers that can use shields on their back, and uh, spies do not kill them in one hit. And here that spy tries to get me again, and I'm able to catch him before he gets the stab off, uh, and almost kill myself with splash damage. So, um, yeah, here I'm using the original rocket launcher. It's not actually original. I mean, the only reason they call it original is because it looks like the Quake, uh, the Quake rocket launcher. Uh, there isn't really a reload animation, and it looks pretty snazzy when you're shooting it, so uh, it looks kind of like a penis, I would say. Uh, it looks like you're holding a big dong and you're shooting rockets out of it, so that's kind of nice. Uh, not like, not nice if you don't like dongs, but uh, it's kind of funny, rather. Uh, I'm running around in this game basically just, uh, I wouldn't say playing the objective to the best of my ability, which is what Team Fortress 2 is about. Uh, it's highly, highly team-based and focused on objectives. Uh, but I was just joining real quick. This is the first game I've played in a while. So I was just having some fun on the soldier. And there I went for a Superman, I guess you could say. I just flew after my death. Uh, but we did we did lose that round, and I do have another round coming up here pretty soon uh, from the same game. I don't believe it's a map change. I believe it's just a team, a team switch where red will go to blue and blue will go to red. And yes, here we go. We just switched to red from blue. And I'm running around with a shovel, no big. Bring it on, guys. I will take you out with a shovel. I don't, uh, I don't really find that logical. But, uh, I can recommend, as you can see here, using rocket jump to your, uh, to your advantage if you can manage to learn it. Uh, if you do have a PC that can run this game, it doesn't really take all that much to run this game. Um, if you do want to run it as pretty as it looks in this video, you do need a pretty decent computer. Um, but you don't really need all that greater requirements just to run it and play it and have fun. Uh, the game is free to play. So you don't have to pay any money uh, to play this game. I am an old school Team Fortress 2 player. So I did pay $20 when the game first came out to get this game. Uh, 
but it has now switched to free to play so you do not have to pay any money to play this game I would say it's the best free to play game out there as far as I've seen uh, there are new free to play games coming out such as uh, you know blacklight Retribu retribution and uh, stuff like that which uh, are in beta phases right now uh, free to play seems to be the new uh, the new market I guess you could say the new uh, what's the word you know economy base for a game it's not like you pay 60 bucks and you do nothing and pay for DLCs and stuff this is like you pay nothing and you can you know pay to upgrade your gear or pay to get stuff that makes you look cool pay for weapons that look sick stuff like that um, like in Team Fortress 2 you can buy hats you can buy gear you can buy uh, weapon upgrades but they're not really overpowered you know it's not like you pay and you're gonna be the best in the game and just uh, you know beat everyone as easily as possible because you paid money it's the weapons do have some benefits and they also have some uh, some cost as well so um, I get stabbed by a friggin spy again gosh darn it but um, uh, there are some costs to certain weapons like uh, there's weapons that'll heal you if you do damage but they only have like three three you know three rockets instead of four so uh, there is a downside to some weapons, but there are upsides as well. So the original that I'm using right now has no benefit and no uh, no non-benefit, I guess you could say. It's the exact same thing as the original original base rocket launcher that you get, although it just does look different. So that's the only reason I use it. It's just as good as the original one, uh, but it just looks cool. So uh, the game actually isn't coming to a close pretty soon but I'm gonna cut it off pretty soon just because this game would go on for 15 20 minutes uh, which is way too long so I do take out that medic right there and I'm basically just spraying down this other medic trying to take him out and I don't believe I do uh, but here we're trying to push the cart back and hopefully they don't uh, capture the point soon but uh, I get taken out by a pyro and that's just gonna be it guys thanks a lot for tuning in uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this Team Fortress 2 gameplay. Go ahead and subscribe to Phaser Frags if you, uh, you know, if you want to check out some more PC content. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. I am Tainted. I'll catch you later. Peace.